Hey guys, it's phase one once again with another video. All right, so we got more. This is the, the the second episode in terms of some of the content that they they were able to find inside the game files. Um, in this video, we're going to be covering the scan and rework. Um, it looks like there's there's some some nice interesting details in here uh, that I kind of want to share with you guys. Um, if you're new to this channel, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. We do all kinds of Star Citizen content. And I want to give a big thanks to the Star Citizen Leaks Discord channel once again for providing these leaks. Also, we are doing um, a Nova Tank uh, giveaway. Um, I'll leave the link for that video in the description. So make sure you check it out if you want to participate. All right, so let's get right into it. Um, HUD and scanning. So these are so within the game file, these are these are the, the text that they were able to retrieve. So let's see if we can find some interesting pieces in here. So obviously, when you scan somebody, you're going to probably get details on them in terms of their affiliations, maybe the orgs that they're involved with. Um, yeah, maybe the NPC orgs as well as actual player orgs eventually, I guess. Um, interesting cargo content, hmm. which is fine, which is fine. This is this is normal. FPS gear. So, okay, so if someone if you scan a person, you'll be able to tell what guns they have on, what uh, gadgets they have on them on their person. All right, so if you're a car, if you're if you're a bounty hunter and you do find somebody, and uh, and you scan them down, I think you'll be able to see what they're capable of based on the equipment that they have on them, and then decide how you want to engage the person. That is interesting. I like that. General commodities, mineable commodities. Okay. Okay, so the, the scanner can tell you whether they have mineable commodities and the mineable properties. Oh, nap points. So you're gonna be able to uh scan nap points. Interesting. I'm assuming this this is all speculation. Um, I believe this one will make it into 314. Um, because they they did say that scanning will be in for 314 itself passengers of course this this is already in sub items okay so maybe if you scan a ship and then you can scan the components on the ship maybe you can see what sub components they have is that what that means if there's any vehicles inside it'll tell you interesting this is new exterior hmm classifications okay position all right so there'll be signatures obviously they didn't mention this before the new one is going to be decibels so which is going to be sound signatures all right um your faction health interesting id signature what does that mean instability what does that mean so oh maybe if you have like um unstable cargo or commodity it'll tell you like if you have quantanium on your ship it'll tell you um inventory amount sorry about that if you guys hear that is my my daughters it's morning so they're yelling a lot right now inventory amount infrared signature jurisdiction last scanned okay so your scanner will actually keep the last scanned information so yeah they did mention this in one of the iscs that you will be able to um provide um you'll be able to store scan details and provide it and to be able to transfer it to yourself in person or from your in person to your ship or vice versa i think all right owner flag mass what is this signature id signature if you guys know let me know in the comments i'm not exactly sure what that is infrared rs what is rs signature all right um optimal power window so there's going to be overcharging when you scan interesting this is new so if you overcharge maybe you reveal yourself a lot more it will be obvious that somebody is being scanned and yeah and it is going to be an optimal way of charging it okay 
So there's going to be skill involved. I like that. Uh, power transfer resistance. Hmm. RS signature. Species is interesting. So it looks like in the near future, we might be getting at other species in game. And I wonder, will other players be able to switch their species from human to Xi'an or whatever, Tavarin, whatever. That would be interesting to see. That is, I'm actually interested to see how that's going to work. Stolen. Okay, so it can tell you if uh, certain items are stolen. Subtype. I have no idea what that means. The vehicle IDs. Okay, that's going to be important, especially if you're bounty hunting. You're looking for somebody specific. You can track them by their vehicle ID. Whoa. Volatile cargo detected. Yes, so they did. Uh, um, yeah, I knew that this would be in. This is, this is going to be cool to see. Wanted level. Okay, so this one will tell you your crime, the crime stat. Of the, I think there, we already have this. We already have wanted level or crime stat. Carrier overview, scan progress, scanning. Hmm. Scan strength. Okay. Strength noise. Hmm. Okay, I think this is probably going to be associated with stealth gameplay. So um yeah so and then signal strength yeah so um that's all that um in, re in relation to the scan and rework yeah if you haven't already make sure you subscribe if you want more details like this if you want to have more uh discussions on things like this there will be some other ones that i will be doing so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already if there's anything in this video that you like um leave a like as well and let me know what you think think of what we just covered in the comments below all right i will see you on the next one